Hello, I hope you're okay. This is a kitchen organising video and I've been saying I need to do this for about two months I think or maybe even longer. So I'm going to sort my kitchen cupboards out and I thought I would film it as well because then it will motivate me to keep going and actually finish it. So I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone and if you are new to my YouTube channel make sure you subscribe and if you're enjoying the video give it a like. Oh before I get going though I've got to do my mug of the day. Hang on a second. It's over here. I've got a fruity tea and I'm having a Twinings detox. I'm not doing a detox, de a de what? A detox, but um, I'm just, this is what, I'm just, this is what I'm drinking. <laughs> I have a mug of the day. Have you? Do you want to show it? Okay, Toby, just my show. son is here, he's going to help me as well. This is the lovely dragonfly mug and I've been using it all day. And I, you might have seen it in a, I did what I ate in a day. So I used the same mug that's today basically. So this is my mug this of one. the day. Oh yeah, do you want to show that one? Be careful though, because that's in a Disney, this is a, a gift for a friend. I bought this at Christmas. It's just a lovely, from a charity shop. And then I thought, well, it's silly me keeping it. I'm going to give it to my friend who is Disney mad. So it's this beautiful Disney mug of the day. Mugs. That was Toby's mug of the day. He just wanted to show you because we've been tidying up the kitchen as well. So I'm going to start off with the top cupboards I think so I'll show you them I'm going to get everything out they need a good clean and then I'm going to organize it a lot better and I've bought a few different things over the last two three months from home bargains and charity shops before everything changed I bought quite a lot of storage so you might have seen those hauls and I'm using all the things basically they've just been waiting in the kitchen for me to organize but the weather's been lovely but I'm finally getting around to it now so I'll stop babbling on and we will start to organise the top cupboards in our kitchen. So everything's just kind of shoved in. I did do a little bit of sorting in the middle with tins, but I don't really know what's up there. And that's the top and it's not looking, I don't know, it's just things are everywhere. So I'm going to sort this one out and I may as well get into this cupboard as well. So I'll do these two. This is kind of the corner of our kitchen. So if you watch the cleaning the kitchen with me video the other day, I'm starting in this corner, the right hand corner. So the sink is just there. I've got to do a bit of washing up as well. It's always stuff to do. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna start here, get everything out of both of these cupboards and we will be, no, I'll do this one first, shall I? And then we'll begin again. Right, come on in Tobes. Let's get these things out, put them down there. And then I've got to give the cupboards a, a go. It's a really good bottle, isn't it? That one? It's probably yeah. some of these we don't need, we need to, Get some, give some to the charity shop as well. I'm giving the cupboards a really good clean with this Fabulosa disinfectant that I got from Home Bargains ages ago. So just getting them all nice and clean. The cupboards are clean and I've put everything back. So at the top here, I've got all travel mugs, um, a lot of Christmassy ones, more sort of things we use at winter, but Lee's tall enough to grab one if he wants one, if he's doing things in the garden. In the middle here, sorry, Toby's behind me, in another cupboard. In the middle, we've got drink bottles. So mostly Toby's drink bottles and then a few of mine over there. And then glasses and cups in this section. And we've got quite a lot of room now, which is great. So we have put a lot of things in the charity shop bags. We're just filling this bag up. So some different coffee cups in there and lunch boxes and just some various different things that we don't need anymore. And I'm just about to get started on this cupboard here. And I think I'm gonna do it over a few days so I'm not like too overwhelmed because I'm pulling everything out. Toby's pulled all the stuff out of another cupboard down there. So I think I'm gonna do this one, this one here because he's starting out, it doesn't look too bad there. And we've got really high cupboards. So I'm standing on a chair at the moment. So in my pajama -y clothes. Yeah, so this one, this one, I'll do the one on the floor because stuff is everywhere. And then I'll probably carry it on tomorrow. So I'll just do it over a few days because otherwise it's just, it's a, it's a lot. There's a lot to do, lots in our cupboards. And again, I'm just going to get everything down out of the cupboard, give them a good clean and then organise things. So I've got a few bits of pasta that I can probably put together. Oh, ah. Uh... And I'll probably put them in these jars that I got from the charity shop. So I really like those. So I can fill those up as well. I was looking forward to getting to this stage where I put things in these, um, these containers. They were £3 each from Cancer Research UK. And I got them just before lockdown, probably about a week before lockdown. I can put a lot of the pasta in these containers. The shelves are clean. I've taken everything off. And then I've just put the 
cake making stuff at the top so I've got those two boxes that I got from the Cherries haul they were gifted they were two pounds each but obviously it was a gifted haul and then yeah all the baking bits are all up here now I'm gonna put the tins back in this section and then whatever else I can put maybe to some pasta to the side so that is the plan we're gonna try and put them in order so there's lentils and chickpeas on the left and then all different soups in the middle and just stack them on top of each other this is oh hello that's the cat saying hello this has been really quite um relaxing quite therapeutic sorting out all the cans and i got there was a few others in the different cupboards so they're now into little sections so i've got chickpeas and lentils kidney beans chopped tomatoes baked beans some other different things that i've bought and soup is over to the right so that's all nice and sorted and know exactly what we have now and i'm just putting pasta into these um, glass containers. I only have a little bit of leftover rice, so that's just in there to be, we'll use that up soon. And since I've been doing lots of slow cooker meals, I've bought quite a few of these sachets. I've just put them in that little storage box and these were from um, Home Bargain. So you might've seen these in a haul that I did quite a while ago, probably about two months ago, a set of three woven paper storage boxes and they're the perfect size for our cupboards. And I think they look really nice as well. So I'm gonna put the rest of the sachets in there and they're also the perfect size for these microwave rice pouches which we use quite often you know if you're in a rush and they just it makes rice in a couple of minutes so i've got a few of those put in there and then the rest of the sachets i'll put in here these all fit perfectly in this corner and i've just put a container of rice in here as well and then a couple of jars of sauce i got these um when we couldn't get any chopped tomatoes in the beginning so i haven't used them yet because they've been hidden so now we will i don't th this is really nice this pasta sauce this tesco one you might make your own but that is really handy when you just want a quick pasta sauce and we're yet to try this korma sauce but it looks quite nice everything is in here nicely and i'm going to check if the door shut which they do so that is good and that is pretty much finished actually this cupboard and I'm going to start on the next one. So just doing the same process again, this one here, getting everything out. This is a bit more random in here, cereal and then cereal boxes, Rivita, porridge, and then some space at the top. It's about four o'clock now and I'm going to finish this cupboard here and then I'm going to stop until tomorrow because Come Dine With Us is on at five o'clock and I want to watch you and Luke's videos and I want a couple of gins. So I'm going to stop after this, have a little break overnight. Well, you know, and basically get back to it tomorrow morning. Got lots of sachets of microwave porridge. So I'm going to put these all together because they're just taking up space in here. So I'll get all of these out. Um, I've got to take everything out and then give it a good old clean because it's been a while. Hello, Rita Bix. It's going to be great knowing where everything is though. A lot of these have hardly got any in them. So I'll just have to put them together. But yeah, it's going to be great knowing where everything is. Because sometimes it all gets like this here. It's terrible, isn't it? It's all just jumbled up. There's some, a little bit of porridge oats behind here. And then just lots of things in that container. So I'm going to sort all of that out as well. I've put all the odds and ends in this corner. So rather than putting them in separate containers, I thought I'd all put them all in here. So just little bits we need to use up and then microwave porridge there. So we need to use them, but we have porridge most days. And then all the different snacks, we've got loads of snacks. So they are just kind of there. So Toby's packed lunch things and Alpen light bars and just things we have for pudding and some custard creams left over from the custard cream blondies from the other day. And then I think I'm gonna put coffee up here, have like this bit as a coffee and tea place because it's in the other cupboard here but it's just all a bit random look that's terrible that is probably my worst cupboard but after i've sorted it all out will be really good so this is really organized and you can see everything because sometimes when you organize things and put things away I, I don't then use them so i can see everything and i know where it is so i can use it and i'm really happy oh sorry happy with this cupboard I put some tomato puree there and a few other bits and bobs that we had. I love the way that looks. Really happy with that cupboard. I'll close that one. And then put teas and coffees in this bit here. I've put some instant coffee in the corner over here and I've got a tin that I bought a while ago. I can't remember where it's from though. 
and I'm going to put my decaf tea in here so I know where it is because in the evenings I don't want to be drinking tea with caffeine so it keeps me up so I'm going to put my clipper ah, organic decaf um, tea bags in there so I know where they are and this section is just about done so I've got all the coffee and tea there and I can see it I can see everything so I'll be able to use it and that's my the decaf ones that I um, drink quite a lot and the rest of the fruit teas and I found a few stashed away so I've just put them in here and there's some more tea bags in this little tin and then at the top here I've put the Horlicks Ovaltine some other instant coffee that Lee's dad likes so that's just up there but obviously he isn't um, visiting at the moment so um that'll just stay up there some other tea bags I don't really like those ones though but I put them up there in case I'm desperate and then a huge bag of porridge oats so I won't buy any more oats for a while because we've got that massive bag so this is all finished and I'm going to stop for today and carry on with it tomorrow and the door's shut as well yay it's the next day now and I've just sorted out this cupboard so these are under the island and I've got all the trays I do I do love a tray so I've got a little section for the trays and I can put something else down here maybe some like Tupperware things and like little storage boxes so that's there and then I've got all the oven dishes and because things like this are really hard to store aren't they so I've just plonked them all in there and we've um, put some of them in a charity shop bag because we didn't need them all so I'm just going to put a few more in here and then carry on sorting out this section and then do that other cupboard as well from yesterday and I'm on the next part of the cupboard so the top where things went there I've got all the um, baking -y dishes, cooking dishes over there. Nice big salad bowl, some gadget things up here, an ice box, and then I'm going to put chopping boards and different things down here. I've got loads of space. There was like plastic bags under here from, I don't know, they've been collecting. So yeah, I've just moved them out of the way and I'm going to carry on sorting out down here. I'm just on the third and final cupboard under the island. These are really good deep cupboards, so I'm quite grateful and I haven't sorted them out properly even since the renovation that stuff just got shoved in here so we've got a spare toaster here I ordered two by mistake and then forgot about it so that's just here so when the other one blows when it blows we've got this one here to use and then I've got a lovely Le Crucier dish thing in the back that to be honest we don't really use but it's lovely maybe we will use it at some point and I put the bowls over here there was room for a salad bowl so I've moved that to here with some mixing bowls and measuring jugs so yeah, it's making, I'm making space, making use of the space and now I'm just going to do the top one, give it a little clean and then um, yeah, I can put some things in here as well. And I'm back sorting out the final cupboard, so I've just got the last bit to do. I wasn't sure where to put everything, so I've got jams and honey over here and then sauces and like, what was this? Red curry paste and there's some random things there and then I'll probably put like vinegar in here and I don't know something else there got vitamins and things in this section that I can just grab and some cold and flu sachets and then orange squash there and um, I've still got to do the top um, section because there's some mugs up there and that's not even the mug cupboard so I'll get those down and put them in the mug cupboard over here because there's some room at the top there and I think I'm just about finished so I've got my jams over here and honey and salt and pepper, different sauces, gravies, or gravy, gravy granules, and a few different things like mustard and various different little jars, and then vitamins and a few sort of cold and flu things, and then sauces up here with a spare jar. I haven't got anything in there, but I'm sure I'll fill it up soon. And then on the top, I've just, I found some pasta in one of the cupboards that I was clearing out. So I've just popped that there, the spaghetti, and a few other bits and bobs and I think that will just about do I've got some room as well to put things you know you find things don't you should go along so I'll, I've got room to put things in different places like here and I'm really pleased it's all done it was quite boring but I really did need to do it so now I know where everything is and I think my top tip top tip tip of the day is to see everything because when I've like tidied up before I've hidden things and then you never ever use them so I, I know where everything is and I can see almost everything I've put away so yeah try and be able to see it because otherwise you don't end up using it so I hope you enjoyed this video of me sorting out and organizing the kitchen
I forgot to film an ending for this video so this is the ending. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give it a like and make sure you subscribe as well and come over to Instagram. My name is Kate McCabe on Instagram and I've got a house account as well called Kate's Homely Home and they'll both be linked in the description box. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you tomorrow at 8am. See you soon. Bye!